All right, hey everyone, welcome back to another video of Salesforce Makes Sense. This is use case 22 of our Salesforce Developer Masterclass. Check if two contacts have the same parent account or not. This is a very straightforward requirement, a very straightforward use case. So for those of you who should, who are able to think that they can do it, pause the video here, try it out, comment below the code. And for those of you who want to continue with me coding it and do it along the way, let's get started. So the ideal expectation is that the method that we are going to create will have two contact records as the method input parameters. And all we have to do is compare the account IDs of that particular record. If both match, we return true. If they do not match, we return false. As simple as that. That would establish whether they have the same parent account or not. All right. So I'll just go ahead and create my new Apex class. It is Apex use case 22 and we'll get rid of the constructor and we'll simply create a method and I'll call it public static boolean check if con has same parents all right and what am I taking here I'm taking two contact records as input con record one and then another input is con record two all right what do we need to do it's very simple if con record one dot account id is double equal to con record two dot account id that's it you return true that means the parents are same or else you return false or you can even get rid of this else condition and you can simply return false because the code will only reach this statement if this if condition is false if it does not evaluate okay very straightforward very simple Two other additional checks we can put the first check is if con record one is not equal to null and con record two is not equal to null right that tells you that the parameters that have been passed from your method have a value they are not sent as a null value so your code will not fail at line number five because con record one and con record two are not null and the other check you can put is if both the account ids are also not null correct so if con record one dot account ID is not equal to null and con record two dot account ID is not equal to null. Correct. Only then go inside and do all of this stuff or else don't even bother. Save deploy and that's our entire use case. Okay, very straightforward, very simple. Let's try to deploy and see if it gets deployed. Yes, it does. What you can also do is you can move this if condition instead of keeping it as a nested one, you can put it on the top level, all the four conditions on one if condition. All right. So this is deployed. We'll quickly take a look at Let me first open the contact records and let's try to compare two records contact object id comma account id comma first name comma last name query and i'll just execute so let's see we have about 21 records and i see that some of them have the same parent id let's see e h right this one tim and john these two records are the same parent id correct so let's go ahead and query out two contact records so this would be con1 and this would be con2 I'm doing this query thing only for showing up how the method how the use case works or else normally you will get this information coming to your method from one of the front-end scenarios right so I'll say ID comma account ID from contact and I'll just query the same record. I'll just query another record here. From contact where ID equal to. So I'll get rid of this ID. I'll get rid of this ID. So what do we need to look at? Tim and John, right? So I'll just take the contact ID for Tim, which is my first record. And I'll take the contact ID for John, which is my second record. So since both of them have a match in terms of their parent accounts are same, once we pass these two contacts to our method con1 and con2 we should get true as the answer right and this is apex use case 22 and the name of the method is check if con has same parents all right let's give it a hit executed fine debug only it says true 
okay what if we go ahead and find something let's say this is i a b q u e f this is u double e right jack rogers this has a different parent i'll just take this one and let's say one of the contact records has a different parent so i'm using these two contacts now so this time the result should be false meaning the parents are not same so our code is working as expected all right awesome so that was use case 22 just comment below if you're able to do it on your own that gives me um, a good confidence in terms of yes you are able to write code and yeah with that note let's move on to the next use case use case 23 <laughs>